what's up guys so for today's video i decided to do something a little bit more messy like what the channel is all about so today i'm gonna be giving you guys an update on the Mets manager search because last night I came across an article I think it's on amazingavenue.com but it w it was just saying that the the three um there's three finalists for the Mets manager search they're that are going to interview this week with uh Steve Cohen and so I just wanted to read you this article and a couple maybe a couple more just to show you like what's going on and um possibly there might be a decision this week I don't know we'll see Alright guys, so I'm going to read you this article that I found last night on AmazingAvenue.com and it's just naming three fi three definite finalists, the other, I guess the other three are out, I'm not sure, three definite finalists for the Mets manager position. And this article says, the Mets have identified three finalists for their managerial opening as Joe Espada, Matt Quattaro, and Buck Showalter have made the cut and will interview for the position this week. Joel Sherman and Ken... David Off first reported that Espada and Show Walter were finalists while floating the possibility that a third finalist would be named. The expectation is that the club will make their choice by the end of the week. The Mets concluded their first round interviews last week, which involved them speaking to six individuals. In addition to the three finalists, they interviewed Brad Osmus, Bob Guerin, and, and Clayton McHula. Sherman and David Off mentioned in their piece that Steve Cohen will play a role in the final round interviews. Showalter is considered the heavy favorite, with reports coming out in the recent weeks that both Cohen and Max Scherzer prefer the veteran skipper. Showalter has has a 1551 and 1517 lifetime managerial record, which includes his time with the Yankees, the Diamondbacks, the Rangers, and the Orioles. So, Espada and Quattro are both intriguing names and despite never having held a managerial job before should not be discounted. Espada currently serves as the bench coach for the Astros while Quattraro has the same role for the Rays. The Athletics also have interviewed Espada and Quattraro for the managerial vacancy. So guys as you just saw here we have three finalists for the Mets manager now Espada, Quattraro, and Showalter. So now I'm going to get into like um all three of these guys passed and their likelihood to be the Mets next Mets manager and we're gonna go there right now all right guys so we are on Buck Showalter's baseball reference page and I'm just gonna read you guys some of the stats here so he's played he's had 3069 games as a manager 1551 wins 1517 losses one tie wait he had a tie like hold on hold on what was Buck Showalter's one tie? This is interesting. Defended against, defended using Zach Britton in a tie game on the road as recently as July 31st. Huh? What? Well, I don't know, but I don't know how you have a tie in baseball, especially since... I guess he might have had like one really long game. I'm not sure, but anyway, um, his win loss record is 500 or er, is 506, and that's just decent, but it's not great. Um, he's had he's played games with the Yankees, Diamondbacks, Rangers, and Orioles. His managerial tendencies, I guess. Oh, it's all these stats. I'm not gonna read you guys all these stats, but. He's had four years with the Yankees, three with the Diamondbacks, four with Texas, and nine with Baltimore. He's had 20 years of managerial experience. And honestly, this guy is just an all-around great pick to have because although he's kind of old school, putting him next to this win-now team I think will really help boost these guys. And it'll give them something, somebody that they can look off of because he's a veteran. And honestly... Um, I'm kind of pushing for Buck Walter, and I think his likelihood, I'm doing out of 100 for all these three guys, um, and all of them are going to add up to 100. So I would say his likelihood, probably actually for me around 50, probably 50%, honestly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the next guy. 
All right, folks, so I'm on Bat Quatraro's uh, baseball reference page now, and um, I'm just going to read you guys how he's done in the minors, and then uh, I'll give you guys a likelihood of him becoming the next Mets manager. So he was born November 14th. We don't, know, we don't need to know about that. He was drafted by the Tampa Bay Devil Rays in the eighth round of the 1996 MLB June Amateur Draft. So he was a player, okay? Um... Uh, yeah, nothing we want to know there. Player news. Let's go here. Register batting. So, he's been, he's played seven seasons in the minors, so he's got a good, pretty good, um, I guess, veteran, not really veteran, but, uh, just a good amount of time, I guess, in the majors. Um, but he's done pretty good, as you can see by these stats. Um, Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, these stats for him don't jump off the page as a player, but I feel like since he's been around the minors and stuff so long, if the Mets were to bring him in, um, I really feel like he would be able to kind of push those minors guys, I guess. Because he's had a ton of experience in the minors, um, I feel like that those have that connection with him, and that could be a really good thing to watch out for in Matt Quattraro. Um, But when it comes to major league guys, I'm not sure he's the best decision to be just to be completely honest. But I feel like his likelihood of becoming the next Mets manager probably would be. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to say 20%, maybe? 15 to 20% in that range for me. But um, Matt Cotraro is still a very good, solid pick that you could have. Um, very, good, very good connection with Miners guys. And I'm going to get into the final guy. All right, folks. So I'm on Joe Espada's uh, baseball reference page now. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to read you some of the things that are listed on here. And... Um, and then we'll see how how likely he is to become the next Mets manager. Okay, so Joe Espada was the third base coach for the Florida and Miami Marlins from 2010 to 2013. In 2015, he was appointed third base coach and infield coach with the New York Yankees. And as an infielder, Espada played 10 seasons in the minors, half of them at AAA. He hit 446 with 13 home runs and 38 steals in, for the... NAIA University of Mobile in 1996. He was picked up by the Oakland Athletics with the 45th overall pick in the second round right between two other shortstops. Bren Abernathy went at 44 and Jimmy Rollins at 46. Espada was the first Puerto Rican picked by the, in the 1996 amateur draft. The A's assigned Espada that year to the Southern Oregon Timberjacks in the West Michigan Whitecaps. He spent all of 1997 with the Vizalakia Oaks hitting 274 with 90, 72 walks, 90 runs, and 46 steals and 63 tries as an ideal leadoff threat. He led all A's farmhands in swipes and led the team in runs, beating out players such as Ramon Hernandez, Eric Chavez, and Jeff Devonen. Joe... <sighs> wow, this is a lot to read. Joe fell to 255 for the 98 Huntsville Stars. One of the fellow shortstops for a part of the year was Miguel Tejada. In 1999, Espada played for the Midland Rockhounds and Vancouver Canadians. He fielded only 19, 918 at short for Mid Midland. Joe would have won the Southern League batting title had he qualified and said it went to Brady Clark. Espada saw a reduced role in 2000 with the Midland. Yeah, I'm just not going to read the rest of this because it's kind of... Okay, Here, here's the here's another good thing. In 2006, he was the hitting coach of the Greensboro Grasshoppers and was hitting coach of the Jupiter Hammerheads in 2007. He was minor, he was minor league infield coordinator for the Florida Marlins in 2008 and 2009 before being promoted to the major league staff. He was named as the coach for the... 
He was named as a coach for the Puerto Rican national team in 2013. From 2015 to 2017, he was the third base coach for the New York Yankees under manager Joe Girardi. He was rumored to be in the running as a potential replacement for Girardi when he was fired following the 2017 ALCS, but instead accepted a job as a bench coach, bench coach of the Houston Astros in 2018. So as you guys can see, Joe Espada has had a nice career in the minors and as a manager, or not really a manager yet, but as a coach. And I think he'd be a pretty solid pick for um, the Mets here. And I'm going to give his likelihood of becoming the manager 30% um, because uh, he has the experience from being a coach in the majors especially. He, he was a solid player in the minors, and he might have connections with some guys that he might have coached. And 30% is what I'm giving Joe Spotted to become the next Mets manager. Um, guys, uh, I'm going to head, head into the outro. All right, guys. So as you just saw, I just went over the final three Mets candidates for manager. And I gave them a, I gave them each ratings for the, for or percentages to become the next manager. Uh, I had 50% for Buck Showalter. Joe Spotted was 30%. And Matt Quattraro was 20%. So, guys, tell me what you, what you think of this video in the comments. Uh, YouTube recommends you watch this video. I do, too. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.